Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to display a progress bar with a user form in Excel and VVA. So before uh, creating the progress bar from scratch, let us move to the demo file which I have already created and see how it works. So here you can see that this is the demo file uh, which I have already developed and as we know that uh, a progress bar is to show the completion percentage of a task so i have added a button on home page here this is the home page and this is the button so whenever user will click on this button uh, it will insert 100 new worksheet over there and rename all those worksheets and add 10 different column headers in the first row of every sheets so while uh, performing all these activity it will take some time Hence, we can uh, show the completion percentage with the help of progress bar for demo purpose. Okay, so this is just an example to show the progress bar. You can utilize the same logic uh, and the code which we are going to uh, learn in this tutorial in your project uh, in your actual project. Okay, so let's click on uh, the insert worksheet button and see how a progress bar works. So now you can see that it's showing the progress like how how much. Uh, task has been completed by uh, the system so uh, this is the all about the demo uh, let's close this uh, the demo file and start designing the progress bar from scratch so to close this file I uh, just press ctrl w and then select do not save and just create a new file so press ctrl n and then uh, save this file so browse select the designated folder where you want to save this file and just give the name as uh, progress bar and save as type should be a macro enable file the second one and then just click on save now let's quickly uh, rename this file from sheet 1 to home and then uh, remove the grid lines from this worksheet so just go to the view tab and untick the grid lines and now we need to insert a button over here so just go to uh, insert tab over here and then under illustration group just click on shapes and uh, just select the rounded rectangle just draw a rounded rectangle in the middle of the worksheet so and just apply a format so just select any of the format which you want and shape effect or you can apply any shape effect so let me select this one and then uh, now we need to give the caption here so just right click on this button and then click on edit text and just type insert worksheets okay just select this uh, button go to the home tab and increase the font size maybe 42 uh, I think it's okay so 28 is sufficient uh, let's select this make it uh, center aligned middle aligned just press ctrl s to save the changes now we have done with the designing uh, the home worksheet and button let's quickly move to the uh, visual basic application window so to do that just click on uh, developer tab over here and then under code group just click on visual basic application button Alternatively, you can also press Alt plus F11 as a shortcut key. So let's click on Visual Basic. And once you click on Visual Basic, uh, uh, it will open Microsoft Visual Basic for application window. This is the development uh, where we will write the code or design the form. So to create uh, the progress bar, let's insert a user form. So let's click on Insert menu, uh, then click on User Form. Now you can see that uh, the user form is in our project that is user form 1. Let's quickly uh, change the properties like height, weight, the name and the caption of this form. So let's select this form and here you can see that this is the properties window. Okay. So let me change the name first here. The name would be uh, FRM progress form and the caption would be here. Oh, this is the caption. So progress and then now we need to change the height so the height would be 86 and 
let's change the width so width would be uh, 278 okay and let's uh, show model uh, currently it's true so make it false okay so we have done uh, with uh, the properties of uh, this particular form and uh, let's quickly insert a frame on this form so this is the frame click on it and just draw a frame over here okay let's uh, quickly change the, the properties of this frame so the name would be frame progress so let me change progress and the caption would be and zero percent so initially the value would be zero percent and that's why we are providing zero percent here okay and the height would be 42 so let us height is 42 and the width should be 252 so this is perfect and let's apply border so border style is currently none so let's select single and let's keep uh, the black border color now we need to insert a label uh, over here in this in this frame so let's uh, select the label from the toolbox and draw a label here okay let's uh, change the properties of level as well so the name would be lbl lbl progress and the caption so we do not need to give the caption that would be blank and the back color here we need to give back color so let's uh, select blue uh, this one highlight okay and the height would be maybe you can keep 20, 20 and the width would be 240 so 240 and the special effect should be uh, this one we need to select the special effect currently it's flat so let's uh, select this one raised okay so we have uh, done with the properties for form frame and label so now time to write the code so to uh, write the code we need to insert a module in uh, in this project so let's go to insert and click on module so here you can see that uh, we have a blank module and this is the code window where we need to write the code so here we need to write a sub procedure to insert 100 new worksheet uh, in this workbook and rename all all the worksheets uh, with the naming pattern like custom sheet 1 2 3 up to 100 and then uh, we will create uh, 10 column headers in every uh, worksheet uh, with the help of this procedure okay and while performing all these operation we will calculate the completion percentage and then uh, we will increase the width of uh, this one this level okay so let's uh, move to module one and let's start writing the sub procedure so the sub procedure name would be sub process activity okay and let's let's decrease this width here okay let's uh, declare a couple of variables so first of all we need to uh, declare a variable uh, that would be for integer so dim i start as integer so we will uh, utilize this variable to initialize the for loop uh, to insert a worksheet like 100 worksheet okay and the next variable would be dim i total sheet as integer so we will utilize i total sheet uh, to store the number of uh, new worksheets required in this workbook okay and the third would be a uh, dim percentage uh, pct done as single so we will calculate the total percentage completion percentage and uh, uh, will store in the pct done variable then dim i label width as uh, integer and i label with integer uh, we, uh, it will hold the uh, length like width of uh, label this particular level okay so currently it's uh, 240 so we will initialize with 240 
so let's uh, quickly initialize all these variables so uh, i total sheet is equal to 100 because we are going to insert 100 new worksheet and then i label width would be uh, 240 okay let's use the for loop to insert uh, all these 100 worksheets in our you know in this workbook so let's for and i st start would be 0 to i total worksheet total sheet and then next i start okay okay so let's uh, uh, write the code to insert a worksheet so sheets dot add and then after so this would be sheets and then again sheets dot count dot name and the name would be custom custom sheet and then i is start okay so here we have initialized uh, i start with zero but ideally it should be one because we need to insert a hundred worksheet and uh, so let's keep it one two hundred okay so let's add uh, the column header in newly added worksheet so we should refer the same sheet to sheets and then hit sheets dot count dot range and here a one dot value and the column header would be column one okay let's uh, quickly replicate uh, this line of statement for 10 different column headers so two okay so we have done with the 10 column headers let's quickly change the column uh, column name basically let's change the sequence column 2 column 3 so we have done with uh, like adding a worksheet and adding the caption the like header let's uh, calculate the progress so here we need to create the ca uh, percentage done so we will utilize this one pct done and this pct done would be so i start divided by i total sheet okay so now we need to uh, increase the label header uh, the label header here so let's uh, do that f r m progress form dot label progress dot width and width should be uh, like uh, i label width multiplied by pct done okay so we have already the maximum uh, width of this label so we are multiplying on this label 240 with the percentage done okay now let's uh, change the caption of frame so frm progress form dot frame progress dot caption and the caption would be a uh, total percentage done so here we will utilize format function and pct done and the format would be zero percent like percent okay so we have done uh, with both the changes like we are increasing the weight and we are assigning the percentage done to caption of for frame progress now we uh, need to write the code to uh, refresh the form so that it will display the changes so here we will use do event and then uh, once like the loop will be completed and it will insert 100 worksheets then and, and after that we need to come out from this uh, the form we need to close the form basically so let's uh, write the code to close this unload frm progress uh, form okay so we have uh, done with uh, writing the code to insert all the worksheets make the changes in column header and then increase the label width and change the caption of frame let's uh, write a new sub procedure to show the form so here sub show underscore form let's 
so basically how we will utilize the show form to assign macro and button available on the home worksheet okay so here frm progress form dot show so very simple now we uh, need to write the code to call this process activity here the progress process activity on activate event of uh, this form so let's go to the form progress and just double click on it and just select this the event that would be activate okay let's remove the click event procedure and let's write the code here so first of all uh, we need to initialize the width of level width uh, that should be zero so me dot l l build progress dot width and that would be zero okay and then uh, we, we need to call on the procedure that that is process activity so uh, now we have done with the designing and coding uh, of the progress uh, bar user form let's move to the excel window uh, like assign the macro so just click on uh, this one and right click on the button available here and then click on assign macro and here we have two different sub procedures so let's select show form and then click on ok okay so now we have done with uh, the macro assignment let's click on insert worksheet uh, to test this application whether it's working or not so i'm just clicking on it and now you can see that it's showing the progress like increasing the percentage and adding the worksheet as well as inserting the column so uh, this is all about the progress bar in excel and vba you can download the practice file from the link provided in the description box you can also visit to our website uh, www.thedatalabs.org to download several tools and trackers i hope you have enjoyed this lesson and if you have any question you can always ask me in comment section if you have not subscribed our youtube channel then please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get the notification of all upcoming tutorials if you find this tutorial useful then please like share and comment thanks for watching have a great day